What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Traxxas Repair Series where I'm going to show you how to fix, how to repair, how to replace broken parts and just in general how to maintain your Traxxas vehicles so you can keep them all dialed in and maximize the fun. So pull up a chair, hit that subscribe button and don't go anywhere. Hey guys, got a new merch store available with some hats, shirts, and other accessories. So if you want to pick up some cool swag and support the channel, go ahead and click that link in the description below. Well, alright, today we're going to be swapping out the rear hub carriers on a two-wheel drive slash. Now this is going to be done on a two-wheel drive slash, but this will pretty much cover the same procedure on any of the two-wheel drive vehicles from Traxxas. Um, so we're going to be working on the rear end of the vehicle, getting those rear hubs replaced. So the first step in all this is obviously going to be to take the wheel off. You got to get access to that rear hub carrier to get it off. So take your seven millimeter nut driver, take the wheel nut off, and then we can pull the wheel off and set it aside. That'll give you access to everything you need to get to, to swap that carrier out. So with the wheel off there, you can see you've got the rear hub carrier here. Um, you're going to have to get the heck wheel hex off and then also the turnbuckle off. So take the top screw that's holding the turnbuckle on. That's just a two millimeter Allen head. Um, depending on how old your vehicle is, if it's an old brush model, it might be a Phillips head. So just use the appropriate tool to get yours off, but you just take the screw out here. That'll basically detach the upper end there. And then using a two and a half Allen, you can take the hinge pin off the bottom. Again, that might be a Phillips head, depending on how old your vehicle is. Uh, most of the newer models should be updated to Allen head hardware. Um, but you can take both that top and bottom bolt off, and then this whole assembly with the outer portion of the axle or the drive shaft um, will come out in one piece. Um, after that, it's going to be handy to have like a flathead screwdriver. You can just get behind that hex and kind of pop it off. Like that, you can slide that out, drop the pin out, and then you're gonna have a washer here You can put on each side. So you got an inner washer and an outer washer. Make sure you pull those out. Um, now that you've got the hub carrier separated from the drive shaft, just use one of your Allen heads or your screwdriver to get in there and pop both the bearings out. And then you've got the old hub carrier out of the way. Um, that's pretty much everything to get it out. You're gonna reverse the process to put it all back together. So go ahead and grab your new rear hub carrier, put your bearings back in, and then you can slide one of those washers. Now this might be a different setup for the washers depending on what vehicle you have. Um, so just keep in mind when you disassemble it, if you had a washer on the inside, put a washer on the axle, slide the axle through. Um, and then if you have a washer on the outside, put the washer on, slide that pin in, and that'll pretty much hold everything in assembly there. Um, and then you can slide the hex back on. Um, and this is gonna have some slots on the back side of it to line up with that drive pin. Um, so just line up those slots with the drive pin and then it'll take a little bit of force, but they actually kind of click on. Hear the click there. Um, so that's basically all back together. And then there are two holes here for different mounting options. Um, so pay attention to what yours was at on the vehicle you took it off of, um, and then just slide it through the same one when you're assembling it. Um, you'll have to line up your drive shaft your outer portion to the inner portion there so it slides on um, and then you can line up the holes on the bottom side with the hinge pin and slide the hinge pin through again using the same hole you took the old one out of and then just use your two and a half driver to tighten that hinge pin back up and it shouldn't be too tight you should still be able to move this very freely um, really it's hard on these Traxxas ones to over tighten them but if you do over tighten them, it can bind it up and they won't 
move freely. You want that to be free so the suspension works properly. Then you can take that top screw with the turnbuckle and you can tighten that back up to the top side of the rear hub carrier. The new hub carrier reinstalled and everything back together here, you can just reinstall your rear wheel, making sure it's all the way seated on the hex, and then just use your seven mil nut driver to put the wheel nut back on. Tighten that all down and you have successfully repaired your rear hub carrier. Just like new. All right guys, that was the repair or replacement on your rear hub carrier for your two wheel drive lineup of vehicles. I hope this video helped you out. Um, I'm a big advocate of do it yourself repairs. So I'm trying to do a whole series on this just to help you guys get your stuff back on the road and having some more fun with them. So thanks for watching. If you have a comment, go ahead and leave it down below. Let me know what other parts and stuff you might want to see a replacement tutorial video on. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I will see you in the next one.